News, Moranga County. Uh, from that, uh, the government uh, plan, the government's plan to achieve the affordable housing for all uh, gained momentum yesterday after President Uhuru Kenyatta launched the Kenya Mortgage Refinance Company, also known as KMRC. The new outfit will be tasked with providing long-term loans to banks to enable them lend to Kenyans at discounted rates. This is expected to make mortgages cheaper for a majority of Kenyans who cannot afford the prevailing mortgage rates in the market. KTN's business and Abia Gina breaks down this model, how this model will work, and just why this may be the silver bullet in addressing Kenya's perennial housing shortage. The signing of agreements by various banks at the official unveiling of the Kenya Mortgage Refinancing Company was testament to a government out to reassure its citizenry that it was serious about tackling the housing deficit in the country. Kenyans can now count on us to deliver lower interest rates to finance acquisition of their homes. Speaking at the launch, President Uhuru Kenyatta expressed confidence in his administration towards delivering cheap and affordable housing through issuance of low-priced home loans to aspiring homeowners. Every citizen deserves to live a dignified life that guarantees access to basic needs provision of a, de of a decent shelter over their heads and their families being key to this. We expect the incentive to financial institution will enable them to offer long tenure loans to home buyers in Kenya. With the housing deficit now pegged at 200,000 units per year, lack of affordable housing has seen the emergence of informal settlements in various parts of the city. The president father indicated that the first project under the plan was well on course and will deliver 1,370 houses with a first phase of 228 units expected to be ready by September this year at Park Road Estate in Nairobi's Ngara area. No sector or subsector will be left out and no one will be left behind. The newly launched mortgage company is hoping to cure the headache of highly priced mortgages as it starts operations with a capital base of 35 billion shillings sourced from the World Bank and the Africa Development Bank. The low mortgage penetration is because of liability mismatch where there are more short-term deposits in Kenya that makes long-term lending by commercial banks and, and circles. And attractive. For you to access a mortgage, one has to be ready to part with an interest rate of 13.5% to be deducted based on the worth of the house over a given period of time. This is expected to change with the existence of the government-backed mortgage company. Data from the Central Bank of Kenya shows that out of a population of 45 million, only 26,000 Kenyans have taken up a mortgage, casting a huge disparity in the home ownership matrix. We expect the refinance company to significantly contribute to the development of the housing finance market in Kenya and help reverse the low mortgage penetration by increasing the number of mortgages available to our people. The government hopes to build 500,000 housing units to boost the president's agenda on housing as enshrined in the Big Four agenda. Although the move is a step in the right direction, questions still linger on the interest rates to be set and the availability of land near Thank the city that can be used to develop decent homes. Abiyagina.